The rules of soccer's governing body are stacked in favor of entrenched leaders like the 79-year-old Sepp Blatter. There aren't many venues in global politics these days where developing nations, especially from Africa, can overrule their wealthy European peers. But FIFA is surely one of them. Such are the rules of the mammoth bureaucracy that governs the game of soccer in its decisions. One country gets one vote, regardless how big or powerful, that even the worst scandal in its history could not dislodge the technocrat who enjoys the support of the developing world. Sepp Blatter, who has run FIFA since 1998, easily won re-election on Friday to another four-year term. And it didn't matter that nine officials under his command, including two direct subordinates, had been indicted by the U.S. Two days earlier for allegedly taking millions of dollars in kickbacks during Blatter's tenure. It also didn't matter that the most influential nations in soccer, including all of Europe and North America, were intent on finally ousting Blatter after those arrests.